<laughs> God damn, he wants to fuck. Proper advantage for a serial killer. Like you said, you know, Just they need an audience. Oh, yeah. If you get the coppers now, I'll promise you one thing. I will never tell you what I said. <laughs> he knows, man. He fucking knows Sherlock. You won't ever understand how those people died. What kind of result do you care about? He knows, man. He knows this motherfucker. He really is an arrogant son of a bitch. And I could be talking about either one, right? I wanted to understand. What would I do? Let me take you for a ride. So you can kill me too. I don't want to kill you, Mr. Holmes. I'm not going to talk to you. And then you're going to kill yourself. <laughs> well, show me, motherfucker. I would love to see somebody try to talk me into killing myself. What's up? Show me. He must have a silver ass tongue. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he's a good study of human psychology because he fucking knows this song, bitch. That's for Just damn sure. He ain't trying to answer the phone, motherfucker. Okay, everybody. We're done here. Didn't find his drug stash. I like that transition. Oh, I recognized you. I was warned about you. My boy, I've been on your website. You wouldn't notice me. You're too modest, Mr. Rowe. I'm really not. Yeah, he's a fucking raging maniac. There's no way he's too modest. Tell me more. That's <laughs> all you're going to know. Because Sherlock Holmes is a great man. And I think one day, if we're very, very lucky, it might be a good one. Yeah, because there is a goddamn difference. That's for sure. Don't need this with you, because you'll follow me. <laughs> <laughs> He really is an arrogant cabbie, isn't he? <laughs> As if there's not one, you know? Man, they did that transition again. Interesting. I like that. A lot. Transitions are hard. It's so easy for them to be cheesy, you know? The only reason we put up with Star Wars transitions is because we're used to them. We saw them as a kid before we knew any better. Otherwise, we'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? Well, I like this bit. <laughs> You don't get it yet, do you? No, I don't get it. Neither does he. You're a bouncer. I just have to do this. Oh, wait a minute. Here in the flesh. This that is website fascinating. Fans fascinating. Told me about it. Between you and me sitting here, why can't people think? Don't it make you. They're lazy. That's why. I think they're lazy. That's why the, can't that's... people just think? They don't want to, you know? Fucking lazy. What's in it for me? I haven't told you the best bit yet. He's taking Whatever the other bottle pill. you choose, I take the pill from the other one. <laughs> together, we take our medicine. <laughs> that is interesting. <laughs> I won't cheat. It's your choice. I'll take whatever pill you do. You didn't expect that, did you, Mr. Holmes? This is what you did to the rest of them. You gave them a choice. And now I'm giving you one. You take your time. Get yourself together. I want your best game. <laughs> game, it's chance. I've played four times. I'm alive. It's not chance, Mr. Holmes. It's chess. Okay, I'm going to pause this shit here. Um... Assuming he doesn't give any clues, let's say this is all the information we get. Because I don't want to get too far. I was wanting to wait to see if we would get any clues, but I don't want to get too far where he gives the game away. So, assuming that this is all we get, what's more likely? The poison is in the first bottle he put out, or the poison is in the second bottle he put out? Hmm, that's interesting, because that, that's a game in and of itself. Usually people, whatever first one you put out, you automatically associate that with poison, right? Okay, you put the pill out, you already know the pill kills people. So, it, it, subconsciously, you associate the first bottle bad. Even after he puts the second bottle out, you've already associated first bottle bad. Because you think that's going to be the only bottle, so then you put your assumption into it. Then once he pulls out the other one, you, you don't really remember making that assumption. But that's going to be there in the back of your mind, first bottle bad, because that's the first one you saw. So, 
Based on that alone, I would take the second bottle if that's all I had to go on. Now, there's another possibility here. The other possibility is they're both poison. He just has the antidote to the poison already in the system. So he, he'll tell the truth. He will take it. But because he has the antidote, it doesn't matter which one you get. They're both poison. And he takes it, you know, and so he, he's cool. So that's the other possibility. The game is rigged. But if this all had to go on, I would take the first bottle for what the reason I said. All right, let's try this out. It's a game of chess. With one move. I want survival. This, this is the move. That's it. Did I just give you the good bottle? Okay, I'm pausing again. Okay, now we have more information. Boy, that's fascinating, man. Now you notice he pushed forward the one he first put out there. Which, again, you associate first bottle bad. Now he's given a double emphasis to that first bottle. Hmm. You would think, is he really going to push it? You, know, you would think people would be contrarian. Whichever one you push would be the one they don't take. You know, so then you should take it. But does he anticipate that? Right? See, you can, there's turtles all the way down, right? I'm still going to go with the other bottle, not because he pushed the first one forward, but because of the reason I said before. So, I'll still take the one closest to him. Hey. Play what? It's a 50-50 chance. You're not playing the numbers, you're playing me. <laughs> just like poker. Just like poker, you're not playing the cards, you're playing your opponents. Everyone's so stupid, even you. Well, he really is going towards his or ego, man. God just loves me. <laughs> By the way, you're wasted as a cabbie. Yep. <laughs> That's the shame of it, too, man. People be murderers. They used to talk about this on Diagnosis Murder. I'll put a pen in it. I'll tell you about that later. You risked your life four times just to kill strangers. Why? The thrill of it. Time to Photographs be. old, but the frames new. You think of your children, but you don't get to see them. Strange father. Yep. She took Play this place. motherfucker! But you still love them. It still hurts. Consider yourself pwned, bitch. Oh, You're a dead man walking. So are you. You don't know. Right. I get it. So he's not cheating. He doesn't have an antidote. Right, anyhow. Any breath could be my last. And because you're dying, you've just murdered four people. I've outlived four people. Interesting. This is fascinating. Somehow, this is about your children. Oh. You are good, aren't you? You're goddamn right, he's good. I have a sponsor. Oh, shit. What? For every life I take, money goes to my kids. Fantastic. The more I kill, the better off they'll be. I get it. That's I not fantastic. Like, this is great. I'm just saying, I'm like, saying it makes sense. Thing. That's what I mean. I'm not a psychopath. A fan of Sherlock. That motherfucker's going to be dead. You're too late, Watson. If I don't choose either, I could just walk out of it. <sighs> oh, shit. That line, final little bit oh, of yeah, motivation no. there. No one's ever gone for that option. I'll have the gun, please. Are you sure? Definitely. The gun. No bullets in it. You don't want to find a friend? The gun. <laughs> he knew it. I know a real gun when I see it. <laughs> Which one's the good ball? course child's play but which one which one would you have picked just so i know whether i could have beaten you you never know bitch <laughs> i was right i was right oh interesting i was fucking right unbelievable he ain't going to court motherfucker you're yeah. too late, Watson. Yeah. Too fucking late. Bet your life. He ain't betting shit. He knows. It's not gambling when you know. So clever. But what's the point of being clever if you can't prove it? <laughs> what, are you, I thought happened. you knew, Sherlock. I thought you knew for sure. I'm not bored now, are you? Because... 
God damn. Nice shot. Did I get it right? Son of a bitch. We'll never know. Okay. Tell me this. Your sponsor. Who was it? He ain't telling you the one shit. Who told you about me? My f uh, a name. Uh, Damn, no. this is dark, man. He's actually torturing the uh, motherfucker. Uh, the name. Uh, Maria. Oh, you bitched out. If you could have held out for fucking five more seconds. I'm surprised. Right? Actually, I'm honestly surprised that Sherlock you know, would torture somebody. I guess I shouldn't be. You're looking for a man probably with a history of military service and... Busted. Nerves of steel. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? Ignore me. Sorry? Ignore all of that. <laughs> just the, uh, the shock talking. <laughs> He's he just bringing I just it need up. to talk about... <laughs> nice shot. Dreadful business, isn't it? Dreadful. Good shot. <laughs> yes, yes, must have been through that window. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> we can't giggle. It's a crime scene. Stop it. We all want those shots, and I mean, keep your voice down. Yeah, Sorry, shut the fuck up. Nerves. Sorry. <clears throat> you were going to take that damn pill, weren't you? Of course, I wasn't. Biding my time. Yeah, you were, motherfucker. You turn up. Yeah, right. They didn't. That's how you get your kicks, isn't it? You risk your life to prove you're clever. Why would I do that? Because you're an idiot. <laughs> Touche. Yeah, the Chinese banks are near the bottom third of the Yeah, they Shall want us to take this Moriarty, that's, but that's, that's his brother. That's the man I was talking to you about. You know exactly who that is. <laughs> hey, so, Mycroft. You know how it always upset mummy. <laughs> I obsess him. Me. Look at him watching. He, he's it like wasn't three me that behind. upset her. This is my brother, Mycroft. Did they but hold up the cue card? <laughs> Look, I didn't have any special information. I don't know what actors play what characters in this other than uh, Benedict, right? It's just I knew that they would. I was surprised they even said the name Moriarty in the first episode. A villain like that, you slow play him. You don't show him at the very fucking beginning. You know, that's that was my assumption. So since it wasn't going to be Moriarty, the only other person it could have been was Mycroft. Hello again. <laughs> God right. damn, he wants to we fuck. we earlier on this evening. Yeah, she fucking knows, dumbass. Jesus. Oh, okay. Moriarty. What's Moriarty? Absolutely no idea. You will. <laughs> you so, will. We go? Interesting, that soldier fellow. You could be the making of my brother. I'll make him worse than ever. Probably both. Either way, we better upgrade their surveillance status. Grade three, active. Sorry, sir. Whose status? Sherlock Holmes and Doctor Watson. Who the fuck else would he be talking about? Pay attention, woman. Well, I can see why this is getting all the hype. That was fucking excellent. Like I said, like um, here's the thing. I was thinking about this earlier, you know, because my favorite, one of my favorite shows ever is House. And I love that he's so obsessed, he will actually risk his life for the answer to the question. And, you know, like and everybody knows, you know, the house is an adaptation of Sherlock Holmes, just moved over to the medical field. It was a genius idea, you know, genius pastiche. But um, most of the movies and most of the other, like, translations, like in you know, Nola Holmes and all these other things we've seen, um, they don't really capture that whole, like, so fucking obsessed over the rest of their life. Like, Robert Downey Jr. movies, like... I don't remember them too well. I only saw them once each. They were they were all right, they were all right, you know. But I don't remember it being like that obsessive, like that, right? You know, where he'd be so fucking obsessed, he would actually risk his life to get, a, get an answer to your question. I don't remember that aspect to it. This captures that well, and obviously, again, I'm not saying House created it. They got it from the original Holmes. But like I said, the other Holmes adaptations didn't capture that one aspect, which is for me the most interesting part of the character. So he has this. So I'm fucking hooked. This is basically like you're bringing house back into my life, you know. So yeah, man, I'm gonna be watching the shit out of this until it starts to suck. Somebody's told me like at some point it sucks. We'll just have to get there when we get there, I guess. 